He's headed for the roof. You boys take the stairs. It's been accomplished. Spy activities are still a growing menace. And as long as Zarnoff is at large, that menace will become stronger every day. Some political groups back east complain that it was the fault of the FBI that Zarnoff was allowed to escape after his first capture. But that's unreasonable. Zarnoff was executed and pronounced dead before he effected his escape. His cheating the lethal gas chamber is the most remarkable criminal feat on record. Perhaps you can give me some of the details on that. I'll be glad to. Steve, get the data on Zarnoff from the files, will you? Since then, we've been able to reconstruct a great deal of what took place. It was June 14th, and the newspapers were playing up the execution. Zarnoff. Zarnoff. Hello, city desk. Zarnoff went to the lethal chamber without saying a word. Ten minutes later, the prison doctor pronounced him deader than a mackerel. Yeah. They're carting him off in the marg wagon now. That's it. Come here, Hank.
28 minutes from the time we went into that gas chamber. We'll have to work fast. Start the resuscitator. That truck, with all its equipment, was later found abandoned. But uh, that drug that Zonoff obviously made use of. That same night, I had it analyzed by Dr. Shang, a specialist in that field. Gentlemen, the drug that I have just analyzed is extremely rare. The secret formula, guarded for centuries by the Kali priests of India. It enables the one who uses it to bury himself underground and still survive without breathing for short lengths of time. Pardon me, doctor. Would the drug still work if a lethal gas chamber were substituted for burial underground? Indeed. As long as all breathing had ceased, no gas could enter the lungs. Heart action also stops. Good heavens, then no doubt. Zarnoff is alive this very moment. It doesn't seem possible. We learn every day. If you two gentlemen will excuse me, I have a great deal to do tonight. Zarnoff will lose no time in picking up where he left off. Later, I went to the press room of the Post record. The ink reservoir is right there. How about your night watchman? There's only one. Most of the time, he's making his rounds through the rest of the building. How about your other employees? They're all good men. I can give you their records. Has one of your men the tip of a finger missing? Why, no. Well, look at this. Whoever left that print supported his weight with one hand while he reached into the reservoir with the other. The devil drug, all right. And a nice clue to the man who brought it here. A man with the tip of a finger missing. But I... I don't understand. Last night, a powerful drug was mixed with the ink from one of these presses. I'll send my men back later to photograph that print. Meanwhile, if you'll see it's not disturbed. Thank you very much, Mr. Price. Not at all. That missing fingertip clue proved to be intensely valuable. Say, how about some lunch? We can continue after we finish. I think that'll be fine. Glenn, order some sandwiches and coffee set up to the office. seen today's big story? You mean about Anderson? Yeah, about Anderson. I think we ought to lay low now that he's in town. What's the matter, Robo? Getting scared? Me? Why, no, I... Well, then, listen. Anderson, Tracy, and the whole FBI can't stop us. We might have missed out on a few things, but our organization's growing stronger every day. And since you're so worried about Anderson and Tracy, I think you'll be glad to know that after today, they'll be completely out of the picture. How are you going to do that? You know Davis, the pilot that Tracy captured? Mm -hmm. He's going to tell the warden that he's ready to talk. Hello. Hello, Zana. I got the message to him. Good. You know the rest of the setup. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah, I'm on my way down there right now. What do you want, Davis? Well, I've been thinking it over, warden. And I decided I might as well spill everything. Well, that's pretty good thinking. I'm sure Tracy would be glad to know about it. Tracy speaking. Davis? Sure, we'll be glad to listen. We'll come right down. That was the warden. Says Davis is ready to come through with some information. How would you like to come along? Great. Yes, sir. Before lunch, you uh, mentioned that the missing fingerprint clue that you found in the press room of the Post record proved valuable later on. It was right after we suspected Zarnoff's plan to destroy the Great International Canal. Steve and I had flown to Border Lake City. Ready for testing. Start the launcher's motor. It's 
It's working all right. Now test the rudder. As soon as they push the launch off from shore, head straight for the locks. One guy coming. When he gets close, you two grab him. investigation. We must dismantle everything and get out of here. Later we discovered the place where Zarnoff was operating the radio control. I wonder where this driver thinks he's going. Driver. Plug it up. Not a chance. Maybe somebody will hear this. 